can make it if you believe You've got the potentials living in you You've got the power to succeed You've got the power to achieve Welcome to Success Power. I do hope that our time together today will be another exciting, inspiring, and very instructive one. You know, one of the most significant relationships that I have had in my life has been my relationship with my younger brother. Uh, in fact, when people see us, um, sometimes they don't know who's older. Um, and this is because we're about the same height, and he even seems to have a slightly bigger build. I was born only one, one year, 10 months ahead of him, so it, it's not actually up to two years between us. So we literally grew up together. Now, as we began to grow, the differences between us began to show in the sense that he is the outgoing, sociable, friendly one. Makes friends easily. The life of the party uh, loves to have fun. And I began to show as the quiet one, wouldn't get into much trouble, uh, sober, serious-minded. And um, when we were kids, Sometimes my parents would find it difficult to track him because he would be gone with other kids in the neighborhood and they would do all sorts of games. Well, somehow too, it was a bit easier for him to get into trouble and because we were not taught to be violent, so if it was going to get violent, he would run to the house. Sometimes he would run so fast, <laughs> my parents would be screaming, what happened, what happened? Um, when we became teenagers, I realized that I began to resent uh, his style. I mean, I just didn't understand why he, he used to talk too much. That was how I saw it. He used to talk too much. He used to talk to too many people. I mean, if we went somewhere, he, he would be chatting with everybody. So. At the point, I had to call him to a discussion as older brother. I said, do you realize that a young man needs to be serious about his life? I said, the way you go about your things, people are not going to respect you. I said, you jump from this place to that place, you're never settled anywhere, and you're busy talking to people all the time. You need to sit down sometimes and think, <laughs> you know. It took me years before I realized that my counsel was the wrong one. I was asking him to be somebody other than who he is. We are different. I was presenting my personality type, my temperament as the perfect one. I felt like you needed to be serious, you needed to be a thinker, you know, and I got so serious as a teenager, I developed furrows on my forehead because I was always thinking so much about life as an idealist. And I'm sure you know that life is far from ideal. The people around are far from ideal. Our circumstances, far from ideal. Your country, far from ideal. And that got me worried. That gave me something to think about all the time. I wanted to shape the world. The world was meant to be a perfect place and... Uh, you know, there was, there was a lot of work to do, and here was somebody just jumping around without even thinking. You know, I began to read books on temperament. That was where I got to realize people are different. Our temperaments are different. Our personalities are different. How we respond to people different. How we respond to circumstances different. And then I got to see that each temperament or personality type has both strengths and weaknesses. 
I had focused mainly on the strengths of my temperament and was using that to judge everybody else, especially my brother. When I read the strengths, you know, first of all, I realized how different he is from me and that he has a right to be different. Secondly, I saw the strengths of his own extroverted temperament and I was just ashamed of myself because some of the things that I had asked him to change <laughs> were the things that make him him and the things, you know, that make him an asset to everybody else. The world can't be filled only with people like me. <laughs> will be too serious. The world will be a serious place. There will be very little fun. I saw that he, he enjoys the moment. I think mainly about the future. And you know what? There will always be a future. See? And because I was focusing only on the future, only on tomorrow, and I'm sure you had before, tomorrow never comes. By the time tomorrow arrives, its name would have been changed into today. And then there's another tomorrow to think about. Some people focus so much on tomorrow, they don't enjoy today. I found out that my brother had the capacity to enjoy the moment. I began to appreciate him. In fact, when I began to read books on leadership, then I saw that you need to have a friendly disposition. You know, you need to care about people. You need to communicate with people for you to be able to influence them and to lead them. I, I saw that he had good qualities, you know, for, for a leader. Oh, my God. I was ashamed of myself, and I made up my mind to change my approach. There was no point trying to change him from who he is. Listen, that brings us to this point. If you're going to build successful relationships, you've got to learn to accept people the way they are. People are different from you. And you've got to accept them the way they are. If you insist that they must change before you accept them, you make life difficult for them, you put them under stress, you make yourself a judge over them, and you are dealing with something that can never change. Today, we're continuing with our discussion on the topic, cultivating your relationships. I'll be back after this break. Why do individuals fail? Why do nations stagnate? Why are countries politically independent but financially dependent? Discover answers to these and other questions in the book The Second Revolution by Sam Adeyemi. The book Second Revolution examines how colonization breeds poverty, low self-esteem and the mentality of irresponsibility. The Second Revolution also teaches you how to break free from the mindset of slavery and lead your nation to freedom. It is the key to positive, radical transformation to success in life. To order for this book, please call 01-875-1234 or 0805-445-4466. The Second Revolution by Sam Adeyemi your best chance to succeed. Checkmate. Hello. Do you have an idea what next big strategic move you can make to move your life to the next level?